Good morning, everyone. The sun is just, just, just starting to come through the clouds. It's Good Friday, and my skin is very tight at the moment because I have not done my skincare. So bear with me if I'm talking a little bit funny, but it is Good Friday, and we are set to have the most beautiful weekend and I actually like the excitement within me is unreal. I can't put it into words. Not just that, but today I've got Gemma coming from Hello Petal. Basically, I've had a really weird start to spring. Usually I know exactly what I want to do in terms of like decor and things like that. And I, and I keep saying this. I do think it was because we had an abnormally like wet and cold March. Like it just wasn't the usual. Sometimes we have like a heat wave and things like that. And it just... It left me really uninspired because it definitely felt like we were still in midwinter. And as you'll know, I generally tend to let the seasons lead me more than anything. And if the seasons aren't playing ball, then what can I do? I just haven't been inspired by it. Um, but my bay trees in my dressing room, you'll notice that all my pots are gone from the sides, ready for a refresh. My bay trees caught a disease and I was actually away when they caught it. And so when I came back, I just watered them as normal. I didn't even realize and they just started dying. And it was like really odd. I was caring for them in the same way. I've had the trees that are here now for, gosh, I think I've had them since the summer. And I love them in this space. And um, but previously I think I had myrtle, but the bay trees actually do so much better. Yeah, I, I lost them. I lost both of them. It started with this one and then it spread to this one and I was so sad. But we're going to be replacing them today and also refreshing the pots. So I booked Gemma in to come in and, and just like bring some new pots. And then she showed me what she was doing on the website and I thought, you know what? Let's breathe some life into the house. Let's change things up. I've got obviously my ferns everywhere, but I really just wanted to like give it a bit of a refresh. So she's bringing around a load of plants and we're just going to sort of have a bit of fun and just pot up lots of different things and just give the house a bit of a makeover. So I'm super excited about that, but it's actually worked really well because Ali has booked, not booked, but has decided that we're having a birthday party for him this year. Now this is really cool because our birthdays almost fall apart this year. So his birthday is on Monday and mine is on Friday. So it feels like they're on separate weekends. I feel like as long as you've got like a week in between birthdays, they feel separate. And because of how they've fallen this year, it feels different. He's having his birthday tomorrow and it's basically all of his friends that are coming over, which is gonna be so, so lovely. The weather is looking beautiful. We've booked to have a, um, a guy come and do our pizzas because there's going to be like 30 people and I don't want Ali glued to the pizza oven whilst um like enjoying his birthday essentially so I think he's going to be really really happy about that so yeah the whole space is going to look beautiful I'm picking up the other um outdoor cushion which oh my gosh I'm so excited to see it like all together out there we've still got the other cushions but those, those like sofas were the main things that I wanted because you see them from the kitchen anyway I need to get on Gemma is going to be here about 9 10 o'clock so I need to get going and I need to get some skincare on my face because um, I've been doing all of like my resurfacing last night and I need to just oh let all of the goodness soak in I have told you about this cream before and this cream has completely changed how I do my skincare now and like how my skin looks. It's really funny. I feel like moisturizer, moisturizers are just sort of like a, you just go with what you, you sort of like and they're sort of, a, they're not particularly groundbreaking. However, this one has been the moisturizer that I didn't know I needed in my skincare and it looks as beautiful on your skin as well. I told you about this before and sorry it's a bit grubby but it's been in my bathroom. This is the Advanced Ceramide Lift and Firm Day Cream from Elizabeth Arden. This is my favorite moisturizer and this is what I've been looking for. I feel like my whole entire life, it's got SPF 15 in it. So especially for someone like me who is in and out of the house all the time, I want to know that I've got at least SPF 15 on. Like I want to know at all times. And so this is the thing that's going on straight after I've done like my serums and things like that. This is the moisturizer that's going on. So my skin is always protected. And that was just such a calming realization, but not just that. And I really want to get into putting this on my face. It looks as beautiful when it goes on your skin as like 
an expensive primer, it gives me instant dolphin skin. There must be some kind of like radiance or something in this moisturizer, either that or it's witchcraft because it looks flawless on my skin. And I think you will notice in a lot of my content recently, my skin has this almost like sheen to it. I swear, it is all this, because when I don't wear it, I'm like, there's just this like sallowness to my skin, and I actually like miss this. So I actually keep, look, you'll see this. I keep one in my top drawer as well, just in case I'm like downstairs and I get distracted and I come up and I need to put moisturizer on. I'm like, I need to always make sure that this goes on before my makeup. But ceramide is such an important ingredient for this. And it's important that you're using a moisturizer and a serum because the serum penetrates deeper into your skin and is working to improve the skin's like firmness, but it also um, like strengthens the barrier and sort of helps with pore refinement as well. I have been using the Ceramide Advanced Light. Now this has been revolutionary in my skincare because first of all, it's slightly lighter. I can have like little breakouts, like I'm just kind of getting over one here. I can have breakouts. This new light formulation works beautifully with my skin. It's just enough for my skin to soak up and take deeper into the skin whilst also these little capsules, not only are they biodegradable, but they are perfect, like they're the perfect amount for your skin, but with a little bit left over that I can put it on my hands as well to give my hands that little extra treatment. I love that when there's just a little bit more. It's better to have a little bit more than a little bit less. So I put this on first so that I'm working deep, deep into the skin and then to work on the surface of the skin, that is where you're going to need your moisturizer. And basically the main things that these two products are focusing on together is the firmness of your skin, which I always say that Arden is the brand that your mum uses because she knows that it works and if your mum is using it you should be listening to your mum because she's far further ahead than we are and she's going to know the products that aren't worth it and the products that are so working on the firmness is sort of that first pillar then it's intensely moisturizing which in all honesty i'm just going to start the process because i can't stand here with unmoisturized skin anymore. So this is what the capsules look like. And they are basically completely biodegradable, which is so handy, so you don't have to worry. And you can also buy like top ups as well. Um, but as you'll see, it is that beautiful serum like texture that um, melts into your skin. Oh, I've always said that the ceramide capsules from Arden feel like cashmere when you put them on your skin. So take it all over the face, the neck, if you can, onto the decolletage, you've got some to go, and then onto the back of your hands, I love that. A little bit extra for the, for the bits that get seen the most. And the final pillar for these two, whilst this soaks in, is tightening and toning. Again, I don't need to explain the science to you. If your mom knows it works, you should be using it. And I'm at that age, because it's my birthday on Friday, where I just want to be using the products that actually work. And if you ask anyone, this is the stuff that my nonna asks for. If it's in my beauty basket, she's like, please can I have some of the Arden stuff? It is always Arden. And I feel like that's their tagline, always Arden. It is, <laughs> they always know. But the role of serum, ooh, <laughs> the role of ceramides is basically to, you can see how much I use of this as well, is essentially to hold the skin's cells together. They're naturally occurring in the skin anyway. And these products basically help to strengthen those ceramides in your skin anyway. But I hope I can capture this because there's not enough sun at the moment. But when I put this on my skin, their studies have shown that it takes a week for you to start seeing a difference in your own skin. But I see it instantly when I put this on. So you get those instantaneous like differences in your skin. But then there are also um, like long-term benefits to see as well. I really hope you see how good this looks on my skin. Okay, work it into my hands and then down the neck and just enough for the backs of the hands as well. There we go. That is where, and this is it completely like 
rubbed in and melted into the skin, it stays like this. It doesn't like change. This honestly, the way this looks on my skin is almost like you put an iridescent illuminating primer onto your skin as well. So you've got those instantaneous benefits, but also throughout the week, you're gonna to start to see the noticeable benefits to your skin's barrier, the firmness, the toning, the moisturization. You're gonna see all of those benefits and I have the good news. There's 25% off the ceramide range on Elizabeth Arden now. But if you use my code, you will also get a gift with purchase. And this is a really good one. So if you want to try, the day cream so there is the day cream and there is also the night cream but what i would suggest to you is i would go with the day cream because this is where you're just going to like i feel like it's one of those products you are going to see sing on your skin and i don't mean to be cheesy when i say that but it's one of those products that for me now no other moisturizer compares i've tried literally some of the best moisturizers in the world and for the value for money for what it does to your skin, for how well it moisturizes, and the option, you've got the option of the light as well. So if this is maybe too intense for you, you can go for the light option as well. But this is an all-rounder, it's got your SPF, it's protecting your skin's barrier. For me, I would probably say that this is the best moisturizer I have ever used in terms of affordability, what it's doing for your skin, how it looks on your skin naturally, and the just the, the confidence that you have in the products. So I would go with this. If you're in the market for the ceramide capsules as well, again, this is gonna be working deeper and then this is gonna be working on the surface. So if you use my code Lydia Gift, in this, you will get the night cream of the advanced ceramide. So you can try that as well alongside it. So this one is uh, the Lift and Firm Night Cream. So that's just a bit of a bonus in itself. And this isn't tiny either, so you're gonna get like a really good opportunity to try this and see if you want to get the night cream and the day cream. But then there's also their retinol ceramide line erasing eye cream, which is amazing. You also get the hand cream from the eight hour collection as well. Eight hour is just iconic, so I feel like you can never really go wrong with this. You've also got the ceramide purifying cleanser, which again, amazing size, but also a great size for travel over the next few months if you're traveling for holiday or something like that. This is beautiful. Um, and you also get some more ceramide capsules, but these are the hyaluronic acid ones. So it's again, it's one of those pillars. There's, you've got your ceramide capsules, you've got your retinol, you've got your hyaluronic acid, and you've also got your vitamin C as well. This is the hyaluronic acid one, so that's gonna be extra moisturizing. And then a cute little white tea um, mini that you can pop in your handbag if you're a fan of white tea i know so many people that wear white tea and it's one of those fragrances that you smell and you're like that is stunning and nobody ever knows what it is it's like it's one of those best kept secret but anyway that's the gift with purchase it's worth 70 pounds and if you wanted to try the moisturizer you can add my code at checkout and you'll get the free gift to try the other items um, you can also pick up the ceramide capsules as well i personally use the light option of the capsules because um, it leaves my skin feeling super hydrated super moisturized um, really like intensively moisturized but I don't feel like there's anything left sat on the surface and I feel like my skin just remains more moisturized and um, beautiful throughout the day. So anyway, I'll pop all the details in the description box down below, but if you're in the market for a new moisturizer, I feel like a moisturizer can be a little bit overlooked sometimes, I promise you. If you don't love this, I will be like, I will eat my hat because it's one of those things that I think about during the day and I'm like, my skin looks beautiful, that blooming moisturizer. Ah, I didn't put SPF on this morning. Yes, you did, Lydia, because it's already in your moisturizer. Why is your skin so hydrated all the time? It's your moisturizer, Lydia. I'm like, literally, especially when you're using the sort of resurfacing products that I use, I like to use retinol, I like to use my skin and me. And um, when you're using those products, you need to make sure that you are putting things, lots of hydration and nourishment back into your skin. So anyway, I've talked to you a lot about this and um, I need to get on with my day because the sun is breaking through the clouds and I have a lot to do. So my code is Lydia Gift, um, and there's 25% off on the ceramide range on, in, uh, on uh, elizabetharden.co.uk now. I'll link it in the description box down below. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I love being able to do this as well, work with a brand that I have worked with for years. Elizabeth Arden, the history that they have is spectacular. Like it is such 
a spectacular brand which is all about women's empowerment as well which for me is so incredibly important i i love watching women do well and i love hearing inspirational stories about women and the things that they do and if you don't know elizabeth arden is actually florence nightingale so um she changed her name but it's a fascinating tale of events and a story that just saw a woman trailblaze the the beauty industry and create a brand that is so beautiful and so so significant when it comes to women's movements women's rights um, and also the empowerment and amplification of women. I am so, so proud that I get to work with this brand. You have no idea. Like, genuinely, it's one of those moments where I always pinch myself whenever I get to work on a campaign. And I hope that you realise how much this means to me. Because I remember going into Boots in Watford with my mum. And picking up my very first Elizabeth Arden like product myself. I had obviously used eight hour cream for many, many years, but going in there and being like, this is the brand that I want to buy my first product pro product from was a real moment. And it's so lovely to now be 35 years old, nearly, and still getting to enjoy the the benefits of their products, their new products, but also work alongside a brand that does so much for women so yeah I just wanted to let you know these partnerships when I get to work in this way this is not me just being like here's another product for me this is important and this means a lot to me and I am just so grateful that I get to work on this anyway that is my skin this morning and this is what I mean when I say that it has this most beautiful like iridescence to it oh, anyway need to get on Gemma has arrived and look at these ruffly ranunculars. Oh my gosh, these are gonna look so nice in my dressing room. But I'm loving this like trailing jasmine. I feel like this is gonna look so nice as like a centerpiece somewhere. We've also got um, these kind of like jasmine topiaries. We've got mascari, white forget-me-nots, white ranunculars, oh my goodness. But it's Gemma's boot that is giving me heart palpitations. Oh my gosh, the terracotta bowl. I love it. I feel like that'll look so nice on the garden table. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff here. Topiaries, I love topiaries. I cannot tell you how much it excites me to see fresh plants in my house. It just breathes new life into my into my house shut up smart ass um so we've got such beautiful plants today i think this is going to look so lovely in my dressing room but Gemma has told me that they like a lot of sunlight so we're going to see how it goes we're potting up in the greenhouse today uh some other bits and pieces for around the house but oh i love this the house is going to look so gorgeous so we're just matching up plants to pots this jasmine i wish that you could smell this it smells unreal so what we're going to do with this is actually put this in the entrance way it looks beautiful and wild and wonderful exactly how i like it but it smells incredible is there any specific like um ways to care for this or do you think it, it's you just missed it and, missed, and then they're quite thirsty thirsty right? okay good i'm, I'm a cereal over waterer so i love it Bye. Um, this is the piece de resistance, if you ask me. Now, Gemma's not been sure whether she should actually sell this on um, Hello Petal, and I'm convincing her to, but I think what it will take is some very, very understanding customers, um, because it's probably going to be quite expensive to send, because it is so big and so heavy, but this is going to make such a beautiful centerpiece, maybe on your garden table, and this is like terracotta, so it's gonna get like a little bit aged the more you leave it outside and it'll just look like it was always supposed to be there. So I'm thinking about this for the oxenwood table as like a centerpiece. Is that what you were thinking of doing yeah. it or were you doing it in the kitchen? No, in outside. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, if you, I think that you should tell Gemma that you're interested in this because she's not sure whether she should sell it or not and I think she should. <laughs> the fire is on and we're gonna be potting for the first time ever in the greenhouse. And actually, I've just moved all of my seedlings onto here because sadly my lemon trees did not make it. We are replacing them with six other lemon trees. But what I'm gonna do, as I've seen this at Dalesford, they've got some chopped logs and I think I'm gonna do a bit of a stage so that I can get my seedlings 
up higher and just get things going a little bit more and off the table because obviously very soon I'm going to want to be entertaining and even um, when we have people over I'd quite like to have this area dressed as well because the girls can come and have chats here. Anyway, it's so bright and we need to get potting otherwise this is going to take forever. Starting things off with the bay trees for my uh, dressing room, the new jasmine, we've got some topiaries for the living room and then we're just going to have a bit of a decide but as always you can head over to Hello Petal and basically pick up all of the pots that your heart desires and you can pot these up yourself. You can now buy refills, which I think is such a genius idea that Gemma's done so that you can reuse your old pots and also if you've already got pots of your own, but I would say that the pots that Gemma has are the best. They're these beautiful sort of not intense terracotta, um, it's more like a bit of an aged but delicately and they're just so timeless. I haven't found a room that they don't go in yet. So I would say that you're very, very good to have a, set, a few sets of these. And she's got this new one, which is a beautiful planter. So I'm excited to see where we start that as well. Look at all of this ruffly goodness. We should get going. <laughs> So we are first going to pot up the bay trees for my dressing room to replace the ones that died recently and they lasted so well. I would say if you want topiaries inside your house and you want a bit of greenery, I would go for a bay tree over a um, olive tree any day of the week, especially because they have a bit more of a lollipop feel for them as well. These aren't available just yet, but they will be available um, next month. So you can do a bit of a topiary thing next month. So we're a bit ahead, ahead of the game on this one, but never mind. <laughs> so pop a small layer in the bottom. Yeah. And then you just literally like knock them out of the pots and oh no, I would say knock them out of del just delicately. Like it's like you're smashing them. up a guitar. Out of the pot, obviously. <laughs> do you wanna try that one? I'll do the other one. Oh. <laughs> I literally can't get I'm I'm using my foot, I don't care. Are you? And then, no, like, <laughs> you mean not like this? <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Really Look at that. that. And there's the one we prepared earlier. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah, fill around the edges. Make sure there is, isn't any sort of air pockets. Oh, I'm so happy to have new trees in. Don't need this anymore, do we? No. I'll grab the moss. Oh my god, how lovely is it that we get to do this in here? No, it oh. is dreamy. What moss would we let? Anything, I like Any. a, a mix of them. I, 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 my favourite is the asphagnum, but I don't mind, I, I mean I like the look of both of them together. Okay, next up, we're putting in the, this is the bun moss. No, that's the flat moss. This is flat moss. Yeah. Is that asphagnum? That's asphagnum moss. So we're doing flat moss, not bun moss. No, because if I show you the bun moss... It's too thick. No, 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 I get it. I didn't realise there was more more than we two types. I mean, let's have a look. No, 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 I like this. Sure. I like, yeah, yeah, I like this. This okay. makes me think of the woodland. Okay, so the bay trees are potted up and um, we've gone for a mix of flat moss and asphagnum moss. So it really looks like the woodland floor. And I love it. So happy. Yeah. More sources there. It just doesn't match, you know. Oh, right. I just can't cope with the... Uh, that would match, but for now it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. you can swap it for one of these sauces because I've got matching sauces on it, this one here. It's a 14. What does it say to me? Oh no, it's not, it's a 16. This is an 18. Oh, no, it's an 18. It is okay. an 18. Oh, there you go. Are you cool? My spinach will live. Being on a different, <laughs> different size. Part. So that one is going there, and this yeah. one's going in this pot. So we're going to take it out of the plastic pot. And this one's just basically going straight in here. But as Gemma said, you can buy this one, which will grow into this on Hello Petal at the moment. So, very nice. Here. What a great idea to wear white. Well, I mean, do you want a bit? I'll get you an apron. Oh, okay. Thank you. I wish that you could smell in here. Every time you like zhuzh this, it smells incredible. And Gemma was just saying that she loves a candle, but if there's something quite special about having your home smell like this, just because of something that's like living and this will obviously be putting more oxygen into the air as well. This is the best day ever. I right. love doing this. So, Especially when the weather's like this. I know, this weather is insane. Oh, 
recognise my non-green nails. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, okay. Oh, Sorry, I'm gonna have to take that one. Yeah, just a hundred <laughs> binoculars to plant. So now you kind of just unravel it. So find the end okay. and then you just un... Ooh, I know. Gosh, you'd think it would be really difficult to unravel, but yeah. it just kind of happens. And you'd think you'd snap it. So yeah. Should we see what the ranunculus look like? They are just wonderful. That looks like a rose. It yeah, does look like a um, ranuncular. I love the ranuncular leaves as well. So, so that. Yeah, line. I think that looks lovely. Okay, so this is the bowl that we're going to use for the centerpiece on the garden table. I think this is going to look amazing. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's get into let's it. Go. Sweet. Yeah. Not my first <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my gardening program. Now you get the mud, <laughs> the manure. <laughs> Done that, that's all set and ready to go. <laughs> Do you think that's too low down or are you happy? I, wh why are you asking the question? Because I feel like it's too low down. <laughs> <laughs> so these need a little bit of a bumper. I reckon, yeah. A bit of a well, some speed. of them do. I don't think they're enough. No, no, no. no. The only thing that would make this day better is a glass of wine. Oh, yeah. A bit of like Provence rosé. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, ready? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> your arms got all weak now you're gonna... No, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> Wait, let me do that properly because TikTok likes beautiful things. Put <laughs> that on the t-shirt. <laughs> Such a dog. <laughs> So we are doing a little bit of a sort of mini setup for the kitchen out here using my set uh, tablecloths. These are the green gingham. I'm obviously going to like iron out the creases. I'm just trying these out now for tomorrow. We're going to get some flowers on here. We're going to do drink set up with like ice and glasses on one and then the other one will be for the chef to do his thing and have a workstation and for people to get plates etc we have this first setup it looks phenomenal even though nothing is quite up yet we do have some tulip heads coming through but they're not going to be up in time white forget-me-nots we've got blue mascari ranunculus and then over here you can see the uh the first sofa finished and everything's got some foliage on it ali's got the um the lawnmower out ready Little boys sunbathing in the kitchen. Mr. Millen Gordon's pride and joy, his orange trees sadly did not survive the cold this winter. And uh, I've just said to him, please be careful, don't crack the floor down there. And he's like, I'm more worried about the frogs. <laughs> this is what is currently going in. Oh my God. The state. Oh my God, I actually can't look. Right, Ali, let go of here, let go of here. Right, yeah, let go, let go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Graham. <laughs> I actually put the camera down then. I was like, oh, they look fantastic down there though. Wow. So much better. Only three more to go. But over this side, it's looking very, very lovely. We've started laying out um, just potentially how it's gonna look tomorrow. Obviously we don't have the outdoor kitchen, but we are makeshifting it. And actually I'm quite happy with this. And this is actually quite a lovely way to do it, to be honest, if, you're, if you have a pizza oven. Um, just tablecloths do such a lot of good when it comes to decorating outside. But um, we've got more of Gemma's pots. Obviously these will all be available on her website. And we've got more over here as well. So we've got one table that will be for the food and one for a little drinks display. Um, I'm trying to think of a cocktail that I can make for everyone to drink using gin um, to get rid of some gin, basically. <laughs>
What a glorious day and I am living my best life. I am just about to go and pick up the second cushion because it's ready, but I thought I would show you how everything is looking out here at the moment. Um, I'm just putting some cushions there just for the sake of it. Um, we've still got a lot of tidying up to do, but I've brought up this Bertioli tablecloth, which I never like to cover up my Oxenwood table too much. So I'm gonna kind of do this as a ruffly runner to then contrast with the gingham that we've got. I think it will still make it feel really lovely, but adds that blue element into it as well. I've actually never used this. I don't know, maybe I've used it in the greenhouse, but I haven't used it um, out here on the terrace. We're also testing out the new Sonos speakers and Ali has been moving the olive trees down into the basement. We've only managed to do two of them, unfortunately, but um, they look so good down there. I actually think that they suit down there better than up here obviously it's a bit muddy well i am living my best life right now the window is open and the sun is shining classic fm on the radio i feel like everywhere i go like classical music plays obviously because i've curated it that way um but i've just left the house ali is currently jet washing the patios and I'm heading to pick up the final sofa seat for the uh, terrace. Then I think what we're gonna do is a late night trip to Waitrose to try and just pick up some bits. We're not putting on a massive thing, but um, we want to have like some food and um, cups and things like that so that everything can just go in a bin and us not have to worry about it. We don't wanna have to have a big clean up or anything like that because a lot more people are coming than we actually envisioned. And I, that, I love that, I love, that's such a testament to Ali. Like Ali is by far, like he's just, like I've said it before, he's the loveliest person and I don't know anyone that's met him and doesn't love him. And so whenever he throws a party, this is very much Ali's friends and this is for his birthday because it's quite funny really how it's fallen this year. His birthday is on the Monday and, oh, my birthday is on the Friday. And because it's the bank holiday, it very much feels like our birthdays are separate this year, which is actually very, very nice. I have nothing planned for my birthday at the moment. Um, nothing at all. I'd actually just quite like to do a wine walk with Ali, Carrie and her boyfriend. But anyway, we'll see how that goes because this is all about Ali's birthday and I'm so excited to have like good fun. I want to pick up some limoncello and um, because I am the shot queen whenever it comes to parties. I know that it's the one trick to throwing a good party and just get everyone intoxicated and that's all that matters. Anyway, I need to pull over, put my sat nav in. Also, before I set off, I bought myself the Diptyque Orange Blossom Car Diffuser. And oh my goodness, if you want a spring fragrance for your car, it's very expensive, but my goodness, whenever I get in my car, it puts the biggest smile on my face. It smells incredible. It is so chic. So if you're thinking of something for your car, they also look spectacular as well, but oh my gosh, my car smells like springtime. We have finished up the kind of main zhuzh of the garden and it is looking phenomenal. We're now just letting the patio and the limestone patio um, dry out because it's been washed and cleaned and all of that stuff. All of the new cushions are out, all of the pots are out. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll wait until the morning to show you it all kind of finished. We're now getting ready to go to Waitrose. Basically, um, we've got a huge gin stash in our bar downstairs and Ali and I don't drink huge amounts of gin. If we're having a drink like on our own, I'll have wine and Ali will have like beer or a whiskey or something like that. I don't really tend to go for gin, although my life would be so much easier if I did because I could just have one glass from a, from a big bottle. Whereas with wine, I'm always like, should I open that bottle? That is a big bottle to open. So we're gonna do a bit of a gin table. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm gonna do um, my usual English garden cocktail, which I always think is such a crowd pleaser. It takes lots of gin and it has um, elderflower and Saint Germain. I think it's got Saint Germain cordial in it as well. And then I'm gonna do um, a lemon balm gin and tonic as well, using lemon balm from the kitchen garden. But then what I'm gonna do as well, I think I'll have to go in the morning to um, the local garden center and I'm gonna pick up loads of herb pots that I can pot up on the table and people can kind of pick their own garnish. So there'll be like cucumber and stuff like that for just the whatever you want but um, if they want like a herb or like maybe some mint or whatever in their gin, they can just pick it fresh so it tastes really good. Um, I was gonna do some 
um, pre, some little like pea uh, crostinis, but I don't know if I'm biting off more than I can chew because I want to do the cake as well. So I think I'm just going to stick to um, making the cocktails. I'm going to make them up most, for the most part tonight so that I can just put them out. I'll do some in bottles and some in jugs. Um, and then to, it means tomorrow morning, all I have to do is get dressed and bake the nettle cake. So I'm gonna need to go foraging for some nettles, but I'll do that probably in the morning if I have time. I'm hoping I have time. I'm saying I'm gonna do a lot of stuff in the morning, but we'll see. Porter, are you all right? Yes, little bit excited. So yes, we're gonna head to Waitrose now, pick up lots of bits and pieces and get prepped but it's looking amazing and I had the best morning with Gemma as well like I said if you want to buy any of the pots um they'll all be on Gemma's website I think the white ranunculars have sold out already because Gemma basically put them on her Instagram way way before she's come to my house and they look amazing and so I think they've already sold out but never mind I'm sure if you wanted to get some white ranunculars you can either buy a top-up pot or you can go to your local garden centre but um, she does it so beautifully. Anyway, I'm gonna rush Ali. In fact, whilst I'm rushing Ali, I will show you what's arrived in his dressing room because Ali had a delivery from uh, Eaton Square this morning. And it is the next piece in the puzzle of his dressing room. So this is the same carpet that we've had um, throughout the living room and our bedroom, but Ali's had it made into a rug. We had an extra piece and we tried it in here and it felt really nice and natural. It just you know, contrasted quite ni nicely with the colour. He's obviously going to have an island that he's having made at the moment in the centre here. Nice armchair in the back. So yeah, it's really coming along nicely. And for the acoustics, it has done so much. It's so much less echoey in here. Wow, I can't believe how different that is. So good. Right, all ready to set off. We've got a gift voucher that we got for Christmas uh, for Waitrose, which is going to be definitely coming in handy for um, picking up some bits for the party and we are good to go. We've already got some of the goods. Nice and quiet at this time. Types of magazines that I buy now. Country life, country living, English home, <laughs> all of the good stuff. Ooh. We are loading up the car. Don't squash anything, babe. <laughs> I think we've, I don't know how we're managing it. How are we managing to keep filling up this boot? It's supposed to be one of the like big boots. <laughs> well, we are shopping for like 30, 40 people. Yeah, true. <sighs> well, this is exciting because it looks like the sun is coming out. So um, it's been quite gray all morning. I'm up and dressed, freshly washed hair, freshly applied. Fake tan, I've got uh, Saint Tropez Express on, and I've got my I Mean Business dress on, which is my Amazon shirt dress. It means I can get stuff done, look nice, and uh, not worry about getting things muddy. I had an absolute disaster this morning. I didn't check that I had baking ingredients because we usually have everything just like topped up and ready to go. I have no caster sugar and no icing sugar, so, I went to make the cake this morning and couldn't make it. So I've got all of my ingredients ready. I should be getting um, sugar imminently. And then once I've got that, I can start baking. It's put me massively behind schedule, um, but I'm just gonna start, I think I'm gonna start making the nettle puree now. And then I'm gonna get um, the cordials and gin and tonics and things like that ready. Then I'm gonna do the table and finish dressing everywhere outside. There is a lot to do. It is half 10. People should be arriving between one and two. It's not a lot of time. And I'm like having that moment where the main thing that's stressing me out is baking the cake because whenever I bake a cake for people, it doesn't go well. When I bake it just for the sake of baking it, it is perfect. And so I often don't want to do this, but I want to do this for Ali's birthday, obviously, because I just do. So I'm stressed. There have been a few moments where I have threatened Ali with a cheese and pineapple hedgehog, but I don't think it's gonna to come to that. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my hands, get things prepped, 
and start doing what I can. Okay, nettles are in here, don't touch them Lydia. Oh, and I'm gonna get to use like my cabbage wear and things like that, I'm very excited. Okay, wash hands, don't touch the nettles. I actually can't believe it. The sun is like fully out. It was supposed to be overcast all day today. And I was just kind of like, we were making the best of a bad situation with the weather, but the sun is shining. Oh my gosh, the two um, tiers of the cake are in the oven and they've got about five minutes left. I'm just about to make the cream cheese frosting. 30 seconds it's gonna be. Porter knows something is happening today and he is exceptionally overexcited. I think he's already worn himself out, to be honest. He's uh, sunbathing in the sunshine. But before the beeper goes, I thought I would show you the living room. So this is the first sort of setup that we did with Hello Petal, little mini bay tree down here and a topiary myrtle. Then we've got some European plum in my big antique vase. I love the way this contrasts in here. Um, it looks almost too overexposed at the moment because it's so sunny, but I'm gonna get the cakes out. Oh my gosh. The cake is cooling, so I'm going to get the Bertioli linen out. This is going to be scrunched up and spread down the middle of the table and used as like a runner, but it will look quite effortless and pared back because like I said, I really like to show off the antique bluestone top of the Oxenwood table, so let's do it. This is the little gin setup. We've got the pick your own fresh garnish with some shears ready to go. Lots of different types of gin, non-alcoholic, vodka. I really like the look of this Boodles gin as well. Um, flowers are set out. We've got uh, all of the boards out ready for the pizza guys. I've got them some lights as well. Those are just some little battery powered ones. And it's starting to look rather lovely. It is now Monday, it is Ali's birthday today, and unfortunately the weather has left us. Sad times. We are currently very soggy and wet outside, and I feel really bad that it's his birthday today because he's got up and he's playing golf this morning in the rain. And I, honestly, I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand how you could go and play something that you like really enjoy, but in weather that's like really miserable. I don't, I don't think that would be much fun, but each to their own. I just love that he's passionate about um, golf and it makes me happy. He is starting off the day with his best friend and um, some of his other friends playing golf, which is lovely. And it means that I have a fairly chilled bank holiday Monday. I've got my coffee and I'm gonna get ready for the day. However, I fully appreciate that I didn't really show you much of the party, if anything. I didn't even give you the walkthrough of all of the areas that I've dressed yet, so I'm gonna make sure I do it now, I'm so sorry. I think I've been a bit preoccupied because this has been sprung on me so last minute to do this, like, to, to do his party. My head was like focused on so many other things and like things not going wrong. I, I prefer a little bit more time than two days, if I'm being completely honest. 
But anyway, he enjoyed himself. He had such fun. We actually, it was like one of those parties that was like a good length of time as well. Like it didn't go, because we started early on in the day where we had like all of the kids there. And in all honesty, I am like the best. I'm like the best person to like have your kids over to my house. I had so much fun with them. So we had um, our friend, Ali's friends, um, two kids and then my friends two kids and then we had my god one of my one of my goddaughters was here with her sister as well um lots of kids but some of them were of a really good age and so i basically i told the girls that my greenhouse was my wendy house which i was like would you like to come and see my wendy house and i took them all down to the the kitchen garden and obviously there's little leaves coming up now and so um, I was getting them to smell like the lemon balm and the chocolate mint and they were able to like pick leaves off of my little uh, like spinach plants or off of my oxalis. Um, all of those things they were able to pick them and eat them and Max, one of the boys, he just couldn't believe it. He honestly could not believe it. He was having the best time and I was like you must come back when um, when it's like summertime so that I can show you more of like the crops and things like that. <laughs> Everyone was calling me Nanny McPhee. <laughs> I mean, I've not seen Nanny McPhee, but I don't know. It was just really lovely. And then the, the funniest one was um, with the cake because Max was like, have you, have you got anything else that I can eat? Any other leaves? Can I take some for my friend Jez? And I was like, well, you have to come here, but you have to promise me that you won't touch these, okay? Because just promise me. And I got my trug of nettles and I was like, what are those? And he was like, oh, they're stinging nettles. I was like, exactly. He's like, can you eat them? And I was like, well, you can't eat them like this, but if you boil them, it removes the sting and then you can eat them. And they're highly nutritious, really, really good for you. And they are in that cake there. And he was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it to his sister. He was like, I'll try it and make sure it's okay and then you can have some. And he he put some in his mouth, he's like, it's just like normal cake. It's just like normal cake. <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, but yeah, so we didn't go on like wildly late. I think we were in bed by one o'clock, um, but we did take yesterday to enjoy an Easter Sunday dinner with my mum. She drove up and we all had uh, Easter Sunday lunch, sorry, in the kitchen. And it was lovely, but we were very, very chilled. Ali watched, I think about 100 hours of golf yesterday. Golf is, is a disease, isn't it? it? Like, it like infiltrates your life and, and then you just, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Anywho, today I am going to head, I'm hopefully gonna head into my, I need to do my moisturizer. This is my Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide. I told you about this earlier and genuinely, like if you're looking for a moisturizer, I'm just gonna show you this as I put it on my skin. Like it instantly just brings to life my face. I just, I can't believe that. I love it so much. Um, and if you want to try this out for yourself, I would highly recommend. Um, but you can use my code Lydia Gift, and it will get you a free gift with loads of products. Products that you can take with you like on your holidays or whatever. And um, it means, that you can like you've got things that will fit in your travel bags but also you can test things because it also comes with a tester size of the night cream of this so really good option but also all Sarah my products are 25% off on elizabetharden.co.uk right now so I just thought I'd pop it in here because I appreciate I've shown you a lot anyway I don't know whether to just go makeup free today I'm gonna put a little bit of something on and um I've actually <laughs> completely used the end of my Swede mascara. So I'm trying their cloud mascara because Gemma told me that she is obsessed with her cloud mascara. So I thought I'd try that. But anyway, I'm gonna get some makeup on my face and get myself ready, finish my coffee. The sausages are in front of the fire downstairs and I need to write Ali's card for when he gets back. Um, I have asked Ali again for what he wants for his birthday and he just doesn't tell me. It's really quite irritating. Um, and so I've ordered him, which he doesn't know about, I've ordered him a, I think it's like a 250 gram bag of wildflower seeds for the woodland. And they are from a brand called Emma's Gate Seeds. And basically I believe they have worked with, they've got a royal warrant 
and I read about it in one of my magazines. I was, honestly, whilst Ali was watching the golf yesterday, I realized that I am slowly becoming my grandma and I like have that same life that my grandma had. Whereas my, where my grandpa would have like the sports on the TV all the time, my grandma used to have her own little sitting room. And I'm honestly thinking that I deserve my own little sitting room. Um, it was so beautiful. She would have like all of her tapestry cushions in there. She had a bookcase. It was just like this tiny little like study sized room. Um, but anyway, I was reading all of the magazines that I bought when I was at uh, Waitrose before the party and I saw it in there. So they're a royal warrant holder and they do like wildflower seed mixes. And uh, so I thought that would be really lovely for him to be able to sprinkle that around his beehives for uh, the coming season. And then I also got him a bottle of whiskey, which is again from another royal warrant holder. Um, and I can't remember what they are called as well. It's actually really difficult to say the name. So I think I will just show you. So that's the whiskey that I got him because Mr. Millen Gordon has a penchant for whiskeys and he really enjoys finding Royal Warrant Holder brands. So yeah, I thought I would get him both of those. And I've got him a card and I'm probably gonna make him some dinner tonight and uh, have a lovely chilled one because it's miserable. But um, I'm hoping to be able to pinch out my sweet peas today. I don't know whether to pinch them out and, and then plant them out, but I've got some lots of seed sowing to do, lots of potting to do as well. So yes, oh, it's not the day to be in the garden, but to be honest, any excuse to be in the garden in my humble opinion. Right, get ready. So this is the setup on the kitchen table. These are the muscari. So these ones were actually supposed to be white, but they're like this pale lavender color, which looks so gorgeous mixed in with the actual sort of purpley ones. Still going strong, probably not got long left, but my goodness do those flowers just look so beautiful in there. I think I'm gonna have to put some other flowers in there just to keep this in use because it looks so gorgeous. We've mixed in little mini bay trees with my ivy. We've got ranunculus, more ivy, and that just looks so gorgeous there. We also have a ranuncular on my kitchen island. Actually, I think this is three ranun ranuncular plants, but looking very, very beautiful. Fire is on for the boys. You just went out for a wee wee and you're cold already, aren't you? I'm going to be getting the seeds that are sprouted in my germinator at the moment into pots and these are some of the seeds that I think I'm going to germinate next. I'm going to do my crown prints, I've got my cucamelon, um, oh I've got two different types of cucamelon, ooh interesting. Um, so yes I've got some, a good amount of seeds to germinate, squash delicata, yeah good stuff. This is a sausage that really needs the toilet but doesn't want to go in the rain. Do you? Sad sausage. Oh. In you go, my love. But you really need a wee. I know you do. Come on, in you go. Who's Barkley waiting for you? Barkley had his wee wee. Oh my goodness, we have our first asparagus crowd coming up. This is so exciting. Also got some little bits of lettuce coming up because I've um, companion planted. Do we have any others coming up? Oh my gosh. None yet. Just the one coming up at the moment, but that's an exciting time. I have to say, as lovely as it is out here when the sun is shining, there is also something quite magical about being out here when it's raining as well. So I'm going to light the fire and check on these guys because my first pea shoots, they've all been moved out here for the party. Yeah, I've got some kale to put in pots. And look at these guys, my goodness me. They just out of nowhere, it's great. Right, let's get the fire on, get it cozy in here. Okay, fire warming up. One of the other things that I'm going to quickly do is pinch out my sweet peas, which I've never done before, but I think it is time. So if we go down to say,
I want to make sure I'm doing it right, but it's very confusing, I'm thinking, here. Oh, the pressure! I'm going to do some of them down here. And some of them a bit higher up. Okay, I think that's those ones done. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to get my monge two in the ground because I think they've outgrown these pots and I think they'll be a lot happier outside now. The fire is roaring and it's already cozying up in here so much. One of the things I have to say is that I'm actually so glad that I went for this type of fire in here because what the liquid does is it basically just turns into water vapor so it's actually helping my plants in here it help keep it helps to keep it moist and also keep it nice and like obviously damp in here so that the plants are soaking up moisture as well not to mention when i'm out here on days like this it makes it so much more enjoyable and i am always trying to find any way to be outside and make it enjoyable even when the sun is not shining so this is my happy place it really is. But I think I'm gonna brave it in the rain and head out there to try and get these Monge 2 onto those frames because, yeah, I am i don't want them to die and I need to get them in the ground, so soggy Lydia coming up. And no sooner have I got wet and soggy, but the sun is out. <laughs> Typical. I could have done my potting in the sunshine. I am currently putting some cucumbers into pots here. I've done, no, sorry, these are courgettes and I've done some cucumbers as well. Um, so now I'm ready to sprout some more seeds. The next seeds I'm going to sprout are these winter squashes, crown prints. These are so incredible for growing and they are so delicious and you can like store them for months and months and months and they just look beautiful as well. So these are my favorite sort of pumpkins to grow for autumn because you they look so beautiful displayed and then you just keep them on display for as long as you want and then you eat them and they're perfect. So yeah, definitely gonna grow as many of these as humanly possible. Well, if the weather continues like this, I think what I'm gonna do is have um, Ali's birthday meal out here. I think I'm gonna lay my potager uh, dining table linen and light the fire, set music, and then do him a garden inspired dinner where we've got nettle cake, we've also got pea risotto, which will have these pea shoots on the top of, and I might do some like garlic bread and bits and pieces like that, who knows. I'm going to do um, a little sewing of some bits and pieces just straight into like bigger uh, Udemy flips, what they call. Oh, that was the other thing. I think I've had, I swear I have my best ideas when I'm in my greenhouse. So I've been, I've been thinking a lot about my raised beds and I was like, I'm really worried because I really want to do some cut flowers this year but I don't think I'm gonna have enough space to do a lot of cut flowers. And I'm really enjoying the way the tulips look on the outside of the house, so, uh, the outside of the greenhouse. So I might go to a rec yard and just pick up a load of buckets. I've got quite a few left over that I can still use. And I think I'm gonna do cut flower buckets. Now, I don't know if you remember, I always go on about this garden. When I went to Chelsea Flower Show last year, it was such a wonderful experience and the garden that won uh, silver at Chelsea was the Wild Kitchen Garden. Google it because it is so inspiring, it's unbelievable. I think if I had seen that when I lived in my old house, it probably wouldn't have happened because I wasn't hugely into gardening, but I would have made the most of that garden so much, even though it was riddled with spiders. I mean, most gardens are riddled with spiders, but my garden was like, unreal but i think i'm going to take a bit of inspiration from that and i'm going to probably do my cosmos in buckets and just decorate around the kitchen garden just because i think that it will be a better use of space a better use of the vessels that i've already got 
and it means it's not compromising on my veg growing space. So yeah, lots of ideas whilst I've been planting. My mind honestly just goes wild, I love it. Um, oh, that's a big fly, I thought that was a big spider. Um, I am tempted to put out my sweet peas now, but it's very blustery today, so I'm thinking maybe I'll wait until it's not quite so windy so that I can, you know, help them stay on a little bit better. But it's very exciting. Okay, salads, 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 salads. Well, just a little impromptu birthday set up because we've realized that the pub is closed. So I'm gonna do dinner, well, maybe a late lunch in here and I've used the pots from Hello Petal. The weather has just been glorious and I am gonna set about getting cooking. I don't know about you, but I always hate it when candles aren't like lit. They need to have an element of litness to them to make them look, I don't know, it just looks weird when they're just fresh. So um, I've just lit them to give them a little bit of a, a bed in, but they look so cute out here. The table is set and we are having our lunch in the greenhouse. Me in my gardening gear, Ali in his golf gear, because that is just the way the cookie crumbles. But now it is time for the piece de resistance, my micro herbs. The first ones that I uh, made, my little pea shoots, are gonna go on my little pea risotto, just like that. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. <gasps> wow, the fire is roaring, the candles are lit, and we've got half a bottle of rosé to enjoy together before relaxing on the sofa. This is the perfect little setup. Come in, boys. Shoots that I'm growing. These are my high-grade pea shoots. Mm. Mm. Ripped into this is marriage for you. Yeah. In my ripped into Miss Me. I thought you have some sexy laundry. No, I'm in my gardening stuff still. still dressing, dressing <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we could drink a bottle of wine and then be woozy on the sofa and go to bed early. To be fair, the um, Bye. pairing of the, whisp uh, the risotto with the Whispering Angel was nice. Oh, well, it has been super lovely sitting out in the, the greenhouse. I had to take my jumper off <laughs> because it was so warm in here. Ali has just gone to run a bath and then we're gonna watch Gardener's World um, in the living room with the fire on. And that makes me appreciate that we are, are both like mid thirties because that is something that you only say when you're getting older. So anyway, I'm gonna finish off my glass of Ali's birthday wine and then I'm gonna head in head inside. Lovely presentation. I'm really good at doing stuff when I don't have the pressure of doing it for people like other people. Oh look at you with a little fancy drizzle on the plate. Oh, I don't Why don't like you put that. put a little bit more on I reckon? Oh you're using it to got ya. I, don't get I it. thought you were doing a, it, the, like presenting it with no. some plate drizzle. Why did you start so far away? Because I'm trying to get it thinner. Like you don't want big globs of um, like that. balsamic glaze. It's it's too much. Little Dobby. We have to, we'll have to half say that. Dobby. Yeah, half the Dobby. Dobby. Very good. When the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Do, do, do.